When someone thinks they're getting something for nothing, they don't often listen to the voice in their head telling them, this is too good to be true. This con absolutely relies on that. This is the Laptop Illusion. Phase 1. Danny put an ad online for a cheap computer, and she set up appointments for interested buyers to meet her at this restaurant. Apollo and Ryan are sitting close by, in case there's any trouble. And the bistro owner has let us wire hidden cameras, so we can see the scam in action. And here comes the first mark. Hi. Hi. You're Arnaldo, right? Hi, I'm Danny. All right. Good to see you. How you doing? Um, yeah. Okay, so you're picking up the computer, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Danny cuts to the chase and takes out a real laptop. All right? Yeah. That's cool. So this is... Okay. Do you know about Max? It's the uh, iBook G4. The Mark thinks he's getting an unbelievable deal. A $1,000 computer for only $500. So, of course, he wants to make sure that everything checks out. Where's the CD ROM? Or yeah. CD ROM? You don't know? It's CD ROM. I never used it to burn. This, well, what is it, the version 10? You don't know what version it is. It's 10.47.7. The Mark was asking too many questions I didn't know the answer to. So I had to move things along before the guy got suspicious. Not a lot of software compatible with it. The clock is ticking. Danny puts on the pressure and tells the mark his time is up. So I really should get going. It's 3.30. All right. So Danny's strategy pays off. Panicked by the thought of losing such a bargain, the mark goes for it. Let me put this in its bag. Danny then offers to pack up the computer into a shopping bag. But of course she has no intention of giving the mark the real laptop. She's about to make a devious switch. Inside the oversized shopping bag, Danny has a second identical computer bag that contains nothing but a worthless block of wood. This was the riskiest part of the con. If the mark noticed me making the switch, I'd be in big trouble. All right. Give me the bag. Okay. On second thought, let me keep the bag. I don't want I was going to give you the bag. The red bag? Yeah, you don't want it? Nah. <laughs> All right, that's cool. There's the switch. Watch again as Danny rapidly switches the real laptop for the identical case that contains the block of wood. Got the laptop bag. Yeah, I'll give you the cables too. She's done it. What was supposed to be a computer is now just a lump of wood. And to make sure the mark doesn't immediately check inside the case, Danny cleverly leans on it to count out the money. $500 in cash. That's sweet. Best buy pickup for right Thank you. But as soon as Danny gets up, the Mark reaches for the case. If he opens it, she's busted. So she distracts him with a quick handshake. Right. You take care. And Thank she's you gone. Too. Have a good day. She's got both the cash and the real computer. And Apollo and Ryan are right behind her. Amazingly, the Mark doesn't check the laptop. He's holding a piece of wood that cost him $500 and calls his girlfriend to come pick him up. It's time to reveal just what happened. Hey, you just got ripped off with the laptop, right? Huh? You just got ripped off with the laptop, right? Confused, the Mark follows Apollo back inside the restaurant. Yeah, did the girl just try to sell you a laptop? She just sold me the laptop. Here, have a seat. The switch was so convincing, he still believes the case contains the real laptop. Talk to me, man. All right, she sold you a laptop. Yeah, she didn't give you a laptop, though, did she? Why are you saying that? Because I think she knocked you off. I was watching over there. And you turn around, she switched the bag on you. You for real? I'm for real, man. Take a look. Double check that laptop. Yeah. One tap on the table, and the guy knows that's no laptop in the case. You better hurry up. You better hurry up. It's not a laptop. Yo, I just got knocked the they switched the bags on me, man. I knew there was something fishy about that. Apollo leaves to get Danny so she can reveal the cameras and put the mark out of his misery. What? There's a camera right there. Can I have a camera in my bag? Oh! 
Oh. Yeah, for real. Yeah. When I found out it was a piece of wood, I got scared. I was like, oh my god, I got robbed. I was like, what am I gonna do? I was like, my god. They pulled it off pretty interestingly. Yeah, they did. They got me. Yeah. $500 for a piece of wood. With the laptop, 10 wooden blocks, and a bunch of would-be bargain hunters, the hustlers could get $5,000 in a day.